We are winding down to the end of the year already, believe it or not, and what better way to end the year so we can begin the year better than to be thinking about our first impressions. Today, I have a fantastic guest joining me, Clarice Ringwald. She is the owner and image consultant of Clarice Color Creations here in the Phoenix, Arizona, Scottsdale area. She is truly a gem from the standpoint of personal styling. She's a licensed fashion feng shui master, works with individuals as well as groups, and as a master facilitator, she teaches other women and men the art of wardrobe wellness styling. So here we are, mind, money, motion, wellness, mindset, your appearance, your, your first impressions, and we'll probably save some money in the end by buying clothes that that would save us money from buying the wrong thing to begin with. So Clarice is also a certified essential colors consultant. She will help us learn about today's, not decades ago, colors for men and women and help you think more about your personalized palette of colors for your clothing as well as for your makeup. I love her tagline. She helps her clients shop better, dress well, and spend less. What a great combination. Thank you, Clarice, for being with me today. Oh, Marie, thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be with you again and to help all the women and men out there get more value for their dollar. Isn't that what we all want? Oh my gosh. And you know, you and I were talking before today. I mean, I think I used to understand you had about a minute, 30 seconds to a minute to make a first impression. And now you're telling me it's what? It's three seconds? Three seconds because we're all meeting on Zoom. You know, we've all given up the corporate areas and we're all having meetings on Zoom. So we're all like newscasters from the waist up and people judge us immediately from it's all visual. As soon as they see us, they judge us. And that's where it is. I'm curious how you got into this line of work. In my brain, I feel like I don't see things well until I see them on. I'm not a good visualizer. So you mm -hmm. must have some artistic gene that I probably never was born with. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am uh, knowing from my fashion feng shui energies, I am very creative and I love creative jewelry, creative hairstyling, creative makeup. So yes, I do see it and I do have it. And this is what I try to pass on. But I got interested in this because I was humiliated over something I wore. And the humiliation came from someone I trusted and I didn't expect the comment. Mm -hmm. And that was on the heel of my daughter going through some medical emergency things and I needed to go back to work full time. So I, was, I went back to school. I got trained in order to be a paralegal for 31 years. That was my full-time job. And I selected that because law paid the most money and I needed the money to pay for the medical stuff that was going on with my daughter. I borrowed the money from my mother to go get color drape because after being humiliated, I realized I know nothing about putting clothes together. I don't know anything about what kind of clothes to buy. I was buying trends just like everybody else in the world. Uh, those did not necessarily look good on me, but I thought they did. And when I went for my color analysis appointment, the woman was so gracious. Uh, she told me right away when I entered the room, your hair's the wrong color, you need to change it. Uh, she draped and covered my hair for the color analysis. She gave me a palette of colors to shop with. She gave me a, a body style analysis of the clothing that would look good on my body type. And she took me down to the department store and helped me buy makeup according to what my palette was. So it was like Pandora's box opening up for me. And from that moment on, I used those colors for many years until I had to change them because my skin tone got sallow. I uh, would take the swatches and go up right up to the color of the clothing so that I knew that I was doing the right thing. I'm a little bit on the perfectionist side. So, um, you know, I, it was important for me to be right and to know what I was doing. And then I got hired by a law firm. Uh, when I went for my interview, I didn't have enough money to even buy a suit to go for that interview. I wore a skirt and a blouse and my colors 
I was willing to learn. They hired me because I was coming out of my kitchen to go back to work. And I uh, was very fortunate throughout the 31 years. I worked for great law firms, great lawyers. And I also helped people uh, that would come up to me, peers, that would ask me to help them with their closet, how to modernize their closet, to review their closet, how to dress better for work. And then I got to buy some clothing for people that uh, they were getting ready for deposition or trial. Mm -hmm. And that's how I started in this side of the business. And when I retired, I looked to get the education and the credentialing and opened up my image consulting business because that's really what I wanted to do in my later years. Well, so here I am. I I know I've, I've heard you speak a bit before, and one of the things I picked up on something you shared uh, in another speaking opportunity was just the fact that our color palette can change over time because of our skin tone yes. coloring differently as we age. So, you know, that workshop was really interesting and helpful for me, but I, I know you do a variety of projects, classes, workshops, personalized styling, one-on-one. -on -one. If you can help our listeners un understand a little bit more about how all of that works. Yes, I for speaking opportunities, I always prepare a PowerPoint. I'm a fashion feng shui master, so I train and conduct master classes for the facilitators and the other masters in fashion feng shui international. I teach uh, recertification for fashion feng shui, and I work with one-to-one -one individuals, and I can also go into corporations, which I have done. Uh, because of the Zoom, be before the predecessor of the Zoom, people were showing up to work much, way too casual, almost a step above loungewear. And I would go in and I would help the employees as a group overall, not pointing to anyone, but just overall as a group on how to dress more appropriately for the office. Uh, you know, wherever you are, that's your runway. So the office can become your runway and you need to dress for the job that you want, not for the job that you have. Mm -hmm. And I would help uh, the office as a whole uh, try to dress a little bit better for the peers and the managers. Also, if people are wearing logo shirts with their logos of their business company, I would help them stylize that with their skin tone because whoever is buying it is buying it in industrial colors, not necessarily people's mm -hmm. colors. So I did it for a dental office, actually. The girls were a little bit um, not too crazy about the color of the smock. So I tried to help them get a better color, which was overall a better one for the office personnel. And it's really interesting. Uh, people, women in generally want to look good because you feel better when you look good. I mean, we all know when we put on a wrong color, people will come up to you and say, are you tired? Don't you feel well today? And pay attention to that because when they say, gee, that color looks great on you, the on you is what you need to pay attention to. So if you can kind of figure out uh, what is that color and what are the shades and the hues of that color, then those are the colors you should be buying. If you can't figure that out, then you need to see a professional. Hopefully it's me, but I, I just love teaching both men and women how to look better. So tell us a little bit more about what is your focus on fashion and how does that transform into all the different things that you do? Well, right now, uh, people are looking for a look that's more comfortable because we're not showing up to offices. So what that is looking at, how I see that is they're shopping online. So my focus is always on fit of the clothing and the color of the clothing. If you can get those two things and you know what those are for you personally, you've got it made. I will say that most online clothing is made for a rectangle body. Mm -hmm. uh, someone who's very tall, they call it string bean or I in um, you know the usual verbiage, I call it a rectangle or the wood body. All of the clothing is made for that body. So if that's not your body, 
Um, people are buying bigger clothes because they're in a hurry. Um, you need to be a little bit more selective. Like you, if you have a shapely body, like you have a waist and your hip line is directly in line with your shoulders and that is the shapely body or um, two circles, uh, usually sloping shoulders, um, a ruching on clothing, on tops, ruching in dresses brings the waist in, brings the uh, eye to the waist. So I teach that focus on even men and women, what looks best on your body. If you can get the fit down and the color down, you're 95% of the way there. You have some great blogs and, um, you know, I've, I've read some of those and I think your website is, is very helpful for getting people on track with the, the fit and the, the coloring and then what, what's happening, what's changing, what's the direction going on with fashion these days. Like you said, the whole Zoom thing has really changed. Uh, if we weren't dressing formally enough before, I can't imagine that uh, has gotten any better. <laughs> No, it hasn't. Um, well, what I do about, I do a class about first impressions. And if you are doing sales and on Zoom, you not only need to pay attention to what your background is, but um, a ring light, uh, your makeup, your jewelry, uh, your glasses, how you are appearing, the first impression that people get, especially if you don't know them and you're doing sales, you're doing promotional things. And the other thing that I warn people about, if you are a keynote speaker and there are many uh, social media promotional banners, you know, they have the theme of the conference, they have the theme colors of the conference, pay attention to those because if that banner ends up behind you, even if it's, a, it's on a green screen and you don't know that it's there and you were something opposed a uh, color-wise, People can focus on what you're talking about. They're going to have an, you'll create an optical illusion. We call it Trump delay. And you need to make sure that people are focusing on you and what you're saying rather than what's behind you. I know one other thing that you, you shared in hearing you speak previously too was the whole, you know, we, we learn these rules, right? That we think are the fashion rules and probably don't realize that they change or maybe the rule was wrong or but the the point you made about shoes and where the eye goes in that three seconds that somebody sees you for the first time so if you can share that i i found that um to really increase awareness of the full outfit even if you know this is when you're not on zoom <laughs> But the right. shoes, you know, I used to think you got to match your shoes with your pants or your dress, your, your skirt, whatever, same color. And everybody, we were taught that. Yeah. And yeah. when you think about the eye, a person's eye goes to the lightest, the brightest, or the warmest color on you, what you have on. In other words, if I walk into a room, people's eyes will go from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet and make a judgment in three seconds or less. So how approachable are you? So I have dark hair. So if I wear something light on the bottom half of my body, like if I wear white jeans, a white skirt, which I typically don't do, but if I do, I wear a beautiful dark, dark camel or black shoe. So they'll go down to my feet and then come back up to my head. If I, um, I have clients that love to wear floral shoes or floral pattern shoes, and I encourage them to piece, put a piece of jewelry or a scarf up close to their face because you don't want people to stay on the bottom half of your body. I don't want them to stay on the mm -hmm. shoes. The mm -hmm. shoes are lovely, but you need to bring them back up to your <laughs> face. And like you're, you're blonde, so you have more leniency with that because your blonde hair is the lightest thing on your on your body. So people will go down to your shoe and then come back up to your hair. For people that are dark, have dark uh, dark hair, dark red hair, um, not so much. 
So I always encourage people, dark hair, dark shoes, light hair, light shoes. The other thing too is when you're blonde, you can reverse your tops and your bottoms. You can wear light tops, dark jeans, dark tops, light jeans, because they're going to come back up to your hair. Mm. And I can't do that. Um, I typically wear colors that always look good on me or, you know, that are portrayed in my sign because it's sitting behind me. But um, I see so many young girls go to these networking meetings where have dark, beautiful, long hair, wear the LBD and they have bone colored shoes on and or nude shoes. And I, I just sit there and I go, honey, everybody's looked at your shoes and they may be staying there on your feet. Mm -hmm. And if you're in sales, you need to have them back up here. So wear a dark strappy shoe. There's nothing wrong with that. Or if you wear gold jewelry, um, you know, you may be able to wear an animal print shoe with that, depending on what your ensemble is. But it's everybody, like you said, um, people are judging us all the time. And some of the sweetest, most wonderful, kindest ladies, how they show up, uh, people judge them by what they're wearing. And I'm trying to help them avoid that. You know, if we're all in sales, we're all selling ourselves, or we're all selling a product or we're selling a coaching session or whatever it is. And we need to look our best, at least when we show up at networking or chamber meetings uh, on Zoom. And that's what I try to help people get them a little bit more aware. And thank you for being and paying attention to what I've talked about before, because you look lovely. You look fantastic your outfit is directly aligned with what's behind you. And I want to be with you. I want to listen to you. So good for you. You get 100%. Thank you. Well, I'm, I'm trying to learn. You know, the old dog learns new tricks over time. It's the truth. So, <laughs> but this whole Even thing, <laughs> this whole image thing reminds me of an analogy I heard once. It was more about speaking, but the whole first impression analogy is, is no different than squeezing toothpaste out of out of a tube of toothpaste you can't get it back in once it's out no so that first impression is there and we have to be so much more cognizant and aware of that and intentional that um, i think what you do is so fabulous because you have group you have reading you have one-on-one -on -one. so tell us a, a little bit more about what what services you're offering and i know i, I mentioned the holidays at the beginning of the year you have some get yourself new improved kind of holiday specials going on that I want to know about. I know. I have a great special. Um, the color analysis typically costs $325 just by itself. When I speak before crowds, I lower that down to $300 for the people in the audience. But I have decided to have a holiday special until the end of the year, so long as you book before the end of the year, but you can have your appointment in the next year. 325 for both the color analysis and the fashion feng shui. So I will give you your colors. I will take body measurements. I will do a body style analysis. I will give you your personal energy for your clothing, what your persona is. I will teach you how to show up. I will teach you how to give an intention for your clothing so that you in the next year will get more of what you want out of life. I will teach you how to dress for your audience and your lifestyle so that when you enter a room, you are that person everybody wants to get to know. So I'm combining both the color and the style and the wardrobe into one price. And that package until December 31st is $325. That is absolutely a deal and so worth the benefit of, you know, especially as women, we have to feel good about ourselves to be able to yes. convey that in, in every role that we're in. So first impressions, but your own mindset at the same time. And in which order, I'm not exactly sure, but they're both really necessary. Well, the way I look at it is clothing is expensive. I don't care if you're buying it at Costco. I don't care if you're buying it at Target, but if you're buying enough of it and it's expensive, you want to look good. So why not wear the best colors and the best fit for you? I can really guarantee I will change your wardrobe if you work with me. 
So on that note, let's be sure, and I'll have this in the show notes, but let, let's share the best way to reach you, where to find you, website contact information. Okay, my uh, phone number for my business, and it is my cell phone. So it's 602-320-2489. I encourage everyone to go to my website, which is Clarice Color Creations, one word, dot com. And you will see uh, what I do, how I do it, why it's important for you to do it, and some videos and some personal testimonials of my clients. If you need to reach me, you can email me and it's on my website as well as, um, you know, on my personal Facebook page or my business Facebook page. It's Clarice.R at ClariceColorCreations.com. Big Clarice, email address. We have talked about so much, and I, I always like to have my listeners leave with a thought for something that they could do or change, like next. So we talked about so many things. If you had to narrow it down to what you feel are really three key changes that people need to think about or be aware of from the standpoint of personal image and um, fashion, could you na narrow it down to three things? The first one would be color, what color you're wearing. If you're getting a compliment on a blouse or a dress that you're wearing, mi mimic that color and try to figure out what hue that color is. Because if people are complimenting you, pay attention to it. The next thing is about fit. Please stop buying clothes that are too big for you. Just because you think they're comfortable, you're maybe wearing clothing that is way too big and is not enhancing your beautiful figure. And also get a sassy haircut. And I really mean that. There's no reason to look old when you see your hairstylist. Uh, and I have many clients that are going gray. They're going natural because they don't want to color their hair anymore. And uh, get a sassy cut for that hair. Because typically, if you're going gray, your hair may be coarse. It may change texture. It may change from being straight to curly. So find someone who you like to work with that will give you that individual sassy look. And you'll always look great. Those are great, great tips. Thank you so much, Clarice. This was fun. I look forward to more and I look forward to who you are helping now in the new year. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you so much, Marie. I love you and I love what you do. And thank you for this opportunity.